For all your insurance and financial services needs, call Rick Wagner in Harrisburg or Linda Case in Lebanon. They're on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and affiliated companies, Columbus, Ohio. Game number five, Calder Cup Finals, live from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, here on ABC 27. Greg Mace with John Walton. Certainly the best game of this series, perhaps the best game of all the playoffs this year. 1-1, Bulldogs, Bears, and now Hershey gets another opportunity that's got to be right now on this power play. Matthew Barron, two minutes high sticking at 8.07. And the Hershey Bears will not be given a better opportunity than this with under 12 minutes to go in regulation time and the game tied at one. Steckel, Fleischman, and Kleppish up front. You can bet the horses are going to be out there as long as Bruce Boudreaux can keep them out there. Kleppish on the far side, hit there by Archer. And the Bulldogs take the puck away, led by Chip Chura out of the zone. Left side, bringing it into the high slot, dipping it back to Archer. That's going to run off some time. Bulldogs control in their zone. They're not interested in the shorthanded chance. They are interested, however, in getting this penalty over as soon as possible. The Bears to center and out of their zone. An errant pass from Bork. That'll go the distance. And Cote will touch it up for Ison. With 11.19 to go. A minute 26 left in the penalty to Buran, the former Washington Capitol. And Kissimmee will watch the draw in front of it. Hamilton got the best of that first 34 seconds of the kill. Not only have been able to ride the puck out and then back. And, uh, you know, I think any other night they may have take, taken an opportunity shorthanded. But not tonight at 1-1. Kissimmee will watch the face-off. LaPierre against Steckel. And the Bulldogs won a lot of third-period face-offs here, win this one, and will bring it all the way back in front of Carey Price before Andre Benoit will let it go. Green and the trapezoid behind Kissimmee with 11.05 remaining. Bears power play, third-period game five of the Calder Cup Finals, and the Bears and Bulldogs tied at one. Steckel to the corner. Now on the near side, Klepish. At the left hash, Benoit coming after it. Bork looking to center. Kleppish able to keep it in, swept it back to Green. He stepped up with a slapper and he put it just wide. Kleppish in behind the net. Now for Fleischman, tried to get it to Steckel and that's knocked away again. Fleischman right side again at the hash mark. Into the faceoff dot, a cross intended for Bork but intercepted by LaPierre. The Bulldogs coming. LaPierre right circle, down low shot, they score! <laughs> J. Baines, a short-handed goal, the Bulldogs have taken a two-to-one lead. The former Norfolk Admiral with maybe the biggest goal of his life. That was the first time tonight that Hamilton has been able to break out on transition, and that was just pinpoint passing to A.J. Baines, a guy who has really hurt Hershey over the years and perhaps none bigger than that one. Now the Bears simply have to recover. Easier said than done. They've got 34 seconds left in this power play, but uh, they've got to come back with two here to, to win this game. And uh, that could have been a backbreaker right there, but still plenty of time left. LaPierre started it. A terrific pass across. Continue live here on ABC 27. It is game number five of the Calder Cup Finals. The Bears now shorthanded. 5.24 left. They've got to win this game or the season is over. Bulldogs up 2-1. Shorthanded goal, whatever it takes at this point. As the puck in behind the goal, the Bears with 5.15 remaining. Corey Locke now for Benoit. The Bulldogs back on the right side. Locke looking in front near the faceoff dot. Pass across, Jansevsky couldn't field it cleanly, and a puck sent in behind the net. Headland, far side, under five minutes to go. That's how close the Bulldogs are to their first ever Calder Cup championship, the first ever hockey championship professionally in the city of Hamilton. They have a couple of Memorial Cups, the last one in 1977 with a team called the Hamilton Finn Cups were here. It has been a long time since the Bulldogs have celebrated a title of any kind in this city, and the Bears, if they can't come up with a goal in the next 4.30, are going to have to watch it. On the far side, Hendricks for Wetterburn. 
Back to Schultz. Lang ahead. And a puck in front of the scorer's table. Hendricks among three white sweaters. And Baran trying to get it going the other way. 50 seconds remaining and a penalty to Sloan. As Hamilton across the line will send it in behind Cassivi and into the trapezoid. Now on the right side, D'Agostini up the wall. Bulldogs maintain the zone. Manlo behind the net. Wetterburn trying to get it free. Baran coming up the wall. We're under four minutes to go here in the third period. As Wetterburn brings it near side. Baran controlling now at the right point for Grabowski. Down low and a pass through Manlo that Arsini will pick up on the far board. Quinton Lang up to Hendricks. Bears will clear. And now they've got three and a half minutes. They in 10 seconds will have killed off this power play and can come back to five on five. Chip Chura, the stopper line already out for Hamilton. They want to leave nothing to chance. Five on five as Sloan returns, but the Bears have just 320 left. As Judry, I head now to Klepish. Across the line, a shot and looking for the trailer, but nobody was there. Hedlund will keep it in by sending it deep. 3.05 to go as Cote will take it away. A backhander that comes along the wall. Giroux down the wall and into the left-hand side for Judry. But the Bulldogs with a lot of pressure as we get under three minutes. A shot from Green and a save made by Price. This crowd starting to sense what could happen here in 2.45. Kleppish on the right board. The Bears put one behind Price. They'll go silent, I can assure you. Near side, Furland. Out to center. Kleppish controlling, but the Bears have to get better pressure. Furland coming after the loose puck of the Bears' blue line. 2.30 to go. Green brings it in. A shot off Price and a rebound behind the net. Now Steckel looking to step up. Has Sloan. Far side. Wiseman with a shot off the skate plate of Benoit. That ends up behind the net. 2.15 to go. Sloan tried to keep it in and did so successfully. Wrap around to the right circle. LaPierre chips it out of the zone. Bulldogs will dump in. Trying to get back on. Oh, no. A penalty coming up. A hold. Dave Steckel to the box with exactly two minutes remaining in the game. A two minute minor against the Bears' best penalty killer, and the Hamilton Bulldogs can taste it now. Well, I, you, you call that in the last two minutes in a 2 1 game. Well, I mean, he, he did pull him down, perhaps a little marginal. But now the Bears, with two minutes left in the game, will be a shorthanded. And now, almost if you get the puck down the other end, you have to pull Cassidy, I would think. I don't know. Well, they will. No question, just to get back to even strength. But Bruce Boudreaux won't do it a second before a minute remains. So the Bears have to do it shorthanded. Or the Hamilton Bulldogs are Calder Cup champions. Near side, Benoit. Center point shot, rebound, man low with a chance, save made, Kasimi holds. With a minute 53 to go. A lot of people starting to stand around Cops Coliseum. 14,205 folks are here, and you're gonna hear them a minute 53 from now as loud as this city has ever heard. Back to Quinton Lang. Off the draw with a minute 45 to go. Hedlund will bring it on to center. Hendrick shorthanded. Steps up. Leaves for Lang. A shot that goes wide. And a puck on the right side for D'Agostini. Minute 35 left. A power play for the Bulldogs to end regulation. As the puck onto the stick of Hedlund, he will blast it down ice. Wide of Price from about 190 feet. And we're down to 80 seconds to go. Hamilton to center. They bring it across. Andre Benoit clears it in off the glass on the far side to Duncan Milroy. The Hamilton Bulldogs on the verge of winning three in a row here at home to claim their first ever Calder Cup. Far side, LaPierre behind the net to Milroy, and the Bears take it away under a minute to go here in the game, and Kissimmee wanted to come out, has to go back. And a penalty coming up, and now a hit. Arsini and Milroy, an elbowing call, but I think we're going to get both guys going. 
I don't think this is going to affect anything, but 47 seconds left, and I can barely hear myself thinking here right now. Well, maybe it's just one, because Mike, Mike Green is really, really furious at Kazari. There's only one penalty door open. Well, if it's on the Bears, the celebration's going to begin. It's a double minor. It's both of them on Mike Green. I, I'm going to question that call. It may not matter, but that's a tough call to make with a one-goal game and 47 seconds left, and the Bears are already down. He landed an elbow, but it looked pretty mutual. The Bulldogs were roughing it up on the wall as well. Well, it's not like you're t trying to make any control of this game at this point. I mean, there's only two minutes left. It has not been a, a chippy physical game at all in terms of guys getting into fights or anything, but now... Hamilton has a chance to put it away and almost can just kind of drag the puck out, bring it back into their own end, if, even if they want to do that. But I'm sure they'll continue to apply pressure on Kasibi here. Louis Robitaille will serve the penalty. The Hershey Bears, it has been a terrific year. The defending champions are about to yield, barring a miracle last second goal, two man down. Yield the Calder Cup north of the border to Canada, to the Hamilton Bulldogs. And the first ever championship for this organization, who dropped one to Hershey in 1997, lost to Houston in 2003. 23 seconds left. Benoit on now for Jansevsky. And a puck in behind the net. On the far side, Manlo. 12 seconds to go. The Bulldogs maintain the zone. Now the puck cleared away. And with five seconds left, this place erupts. The Hamilton Bulldogs are the 2007 World Cup champions. Well, it's a scene that Hershey fans have been privileged to see many, many times. It's been more than 20 years since the Bears lost in a Calder Cup final. And give Hamilton all the credit in the world. This team played great. It is the first professional championship in this city. They have Canadian Football League here. They've had pro teams, hockey teams in the past. But this is the first time that they've ever won a professional championship. But take nothing away from them. Boy, they, they, they have been the team to beat, obviously, here down the stretch. And they are celebrating their Calder Cup championship. What you're going to see now is one of the great traditions in all of sports. You don't see it in any other sport in this fashion, which is both teams, after pounding each other, after going at it with all their heart, will line up at center ice and shake hands, and then we'll have the presentation of the most valuable player trophy. We'll, we'll let you see here the, uh, the raising of the Calder Cup. We're going to stay with this. But an exciting moment for these guys. You talked about A.J. Baines, a guy who's, who's a great guy and has had a lot of great games against the Hershey Bears. And in perhaps many years from now, we're going to see, we're going to say, hey, you know what? Carey Price was the guy who beat the Hershey Bears in the Calder Cup Finals. Perhaps like Patrick Waugh or Ken Dryden, you're going to see his name in the past and in the future. This crowd going crazy, and they should. The Hamilton Bulldogs have won the 2007 Calder Cup four games to one. They were a most worthy opponent. They have dethroned the defending champions in five games. The Bears got all the way back to the big dance, defending this title. The McGregor Kilpatrick Trophy winner for the best regular season. They won the East Division over Wilkes-Barre and Norfolk. They had an incredible regular season, the best in the American Hockey League. They followed it up with wins over the Albany River Rats, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins in the East Division Final, and dispatched the Atlantic Division champion, Manchester Monarchs, in four straight. But Greg Mace, as we look down here on a terrific site, as far as sportsmanship goes, the Bears congratulating and certainly warm exchanges, and I'll be real interested to see. There's Phil Solvay, ladies and gentlemen. In shirt and tie, he was the third goaltender in this series for Hamilton. So a former Hershey Bear in Solvay will get a Calder Cup ring by defeating his former team. Phil Solvay won the first ever game in Giant Center history. And A.J. Baines right there with Freddie Kasivi. 
a good friend of Quentin Lang's, and I'm sure now that this series is over, they will have a whole lot of good things to talk about. Bain scored the game-winning goal, shorthanded here in the third period to win it for the Hamilton Bulldogs. You know, it's interesting that our cameras have focused a lot on A.J. Baines. He's gotten a hug from almost every Hershey Bear, and, you know, he's played these guys very, very hard with a variety of teams. I think most people around here would remember from the Norfolk Admirals. Freddie Kasivi just had another tremendous year, and this guy's been the franchise player and came up big again tonight. It was almost a shame, and, you know, you can always say this when you're on the losing end of a game, that it was a shame that anybody had to lose this game tonight. It's too bad the rest of the series had not been this way and, and, and wasn't as close as I think a lot of people would have expected. But not since, uh, not for more than 20 years have the Bears won a loss in a Calder Cup final. And I think as we look at this, we feel very privileged to have been with this team the last two years and a great run. Not a lot of people go back to back, have the opportunity to play in a Calder Cup final back to back. And these guys have a lot to be proud of. Have developed a lot of players for the Washington Capitals. And uh, we'll be back next year. Perhaps certainly with a different cast of characters, but uh, a lot to be proud of with this Hershey team. And I know, uh, I know these guys are going to hold their heads up high after they get out of here. It's going to be a long bus ride home, but they're going to look back at this and say, hey, another great year. This is perhaps the most special two-year run in Hershey Bears history that ends here tonight in Hamilton. The Bears eliminated in five games in the 2007 Calder Cup Finals. But after a Calder Cup championship in 06, Eastern Conference champs in 07, the Bears leaving the ice, the Bulldogs the only team remaining. And now the Bears and all of hockey head off into summertime. I want to explain what you're seeing right now because we're taking the cable 14 feet from Hamilton. So you may, you may see some of the reporters pop up here. They're not our folks. Uh, because they're taking some shots and obviously going to do some interviews with Hamilton. So you may see somebody here, but continue to hear John and myself. But well, they're going to present the uh, most valuable player trophy, and then they'll present the Calder Cup, and uh, we'll let you see that. Just the moment Dave Andrews, who we talked to between periods for the president of the American Hockey League, will present this. And uh, the scene we've been privileged to see, I've had a chance to see the last four in person, and I know a lot of people have seen uh, even more from that dating back to the early 50s, uh, late 50s with the Hershey Bears. Now the Calder Cup is coming. Out of the ice, something that belonged to Hershey last year, but now will belong to the Hamilton Bulldogs. There's A.J. Bain. She's being interviewed right He's being interviewed right now by one of the uh, the Hamilton reporters, uh, part of Cable 14. And obviously, they're, they're, those are very happy folks. And as you said, A.J.'s a good guy. He's a terrific guy. And as we saw the Calder Cup at center ice, Greg, it's kind of sad to see it go. The Bears... The reigning champs, they had the cup throughout the central Pennsylvania community. And right now, Dave Andrews is about to announce the Calder Cup most valuable player first and then present the Calder Cup to the captains of the Bulldogs. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Kerry Price is going to haul it down. I don't think that's going to be too much of a stretch tonight. I'm going to guess that everyone would have picked Kerry Price in this building, in this press box. And now, of course, this was won by Freddie Cassivi last year. And will likely be won by Carey Price this year as the uh, Hamilton Bulldogs continue to celebrate. We're glad you've been with us here on ABC 27 tonight. We're very excited to bring you all three games. And I uh, want to thank all the sponsors and everybody involved here to, who stepped up to the plate to uh, bring this game to you and the other games tonight. Here's Dave Andrews. And Jim Mill, the vice president of the American Hockey League, will come out and uh, help Dave make this presentation. And guess whose name they're chanting right now? A 19-year-old kid with a season I've never seen through the playoffs. And Dave almost didn't even have to announce it. Carey Price, the most valuable player of the Calder Cup. And well-deserved. Well, he did what Freddie Cassidy did last year. He put the team on his back and almost single-handedly took care of business for Hamilton. And now the Calder Cup will be presented to the Hamilton Bulldogs. Certainly a tip of the cap to the guys in white here. They put on against the defending champs. Keep in mind who they beat along the way. Rochester in the first round, the second place team. Remember, Hamilton, the third place team in the North Division, beat in succession. Rochester, they beat Manitoba, who won their division. They did it by winning three games on the road and then defeated the Chicago Wolves in five now. They have defeated the Hershey Bears in five to win the Calder Cup as they present it down below. Dave Andrews calling the captains over. And the official handoff, folks, the Bears, no longer the Calder Cup champs.
Well, an exciting moment for these folks in Hamilton. A.J. Baines there on the left. And now you will see the uh, the great tradition of the uh, cup being carried around. We'll just show you this for a couple more for a minute or so. And there it is. Hamilton Thrill Bulldogs, the uh, Calder Cup champs, and uh, great run for the Hershey Bears. John, it's always been a pleasure working with you. John will continue on the radio side, but great two years. We'll do it again next year. Absolutely, Greg. It's been a lot of fun, and certainly from a Bears standpoint, we want to thank you for all your hard work. And ABC 27, a tremendous supporter of ours, and doing getting the games on the air. And you don't get enough credit for that. We appreciate you very much for that. And we will indeed carry through on the radio side and close it out on the post game show momentarily. All right, John Walton, thanks a lot again for Josh Reed. Greg May saying so long from Hamilton, Ontario. Again, John continues on the radio side. Hamilton Bulldogs, Calder Cup champs, beating the Hershey Bears 2 1. Thanks for joining us tonight here on ABC 27.